Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. This is going to be the Wings of Dawn Critter update this week. So, hope you guys enjoy. I may be using a new profile picture for the um, channel pretty soon. Because I don't think anyone likes the alien, but they like the little dragon down here. So, I'll see how people feel about it. Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. We are releasing this week's development update a day later since we wanted to give everyone a bit more time to polish things up. Eck also was able to pitch in some more work from the stream that was done late yesterday. So we got some nice new, uh, some new nice screenshots of the work in progress Valad 3D model. New Woodlouse AI concept skins. We have continued with the work with our Woodlouse Critter which is a much larger than the small ones you see in our reality. These much larger timeline variants can be tuned and written by human players. Nika has been crafty and... Sorry about that. Crafty and begun the process of creating some possible ideas for the skins. Here are two of the possible skin suggestions. A sunrise, sunset, and galaxy-themed skins. Sunrise, or alternatively sunset skins, bring warm brown colors with orange highlights, with the lightest point uh, being the far back of the tail. Very cool looking. I like it. I do like the tail right here, where it's white. I do think it'd be a little better if it was sunset. It'd be a little more pink, maybe, right here. Sorry if I sound a little weird. I sprained a muscle in my neck. It's really hard to talk. We also have a galaxy-themed skin for the lovable grub. The spots on its back could potentially be slightly bioluminescent to make them noticeable in the dark cave environment that they live in. Little critter. Little goober. They look like giant isopods. Or like um, roly-polies. You know what I'm talking about? Or pill bugs, I guess, if you live in the Midwest. New Prawn Horse Redux, work in progress. With the new creature updates, we are also giving one of the oldest native fauna an update. The Prawn Horse, name undecided, is a creature that is closest to a horse-like mount in Alaria. With the help of Viteris, we are making the creature look like an actual relative to our other native fauna. The Armored Vision, Prawn Wolf, which we have shared and showcased the concept art in earlier development updates on this channel. Disclaimer, these colors are not final. There will be color adjustments to be made and experimentation to be done. Again, um, Avatar vibes from the old one, but the new one I really like. I do think that point of the beak is a little much. I like the little grabby arms here. It reminds me of my aliens. Completed Dustrious 3D Base Mesh. Our 3D artist Flo, who is in charge of developing our sixth dragon, Dustrious 3D model has been completed, has completed the base mesh. A base mesh is required before any model can be put into a game. To our lovely nerds out there, Dustrious model sits comfortably at 29k tries. Tris? Tries? I'll say tries, but I'm pretty sure that's Triss. There will be some adjustments to be done to prepare for this Dustrious to a game-ready state, but it is very close. Very lovely. I love it. I'm a big fan of the beak. I am, because it reminds me of like a Ceratopsian beak, because you can see the molars in the back, but the front don't really have teeth. They have the beak. Updated Valid 3D Model Sheet. Addition to this week's update is our small fire drag, Valad's updated 3D model sheet. Our 2D concept artists work closely with our 3D artists to make these 3D model sheets, as we call them, to give accurate body proportions and help 3D artists who create our custom 3D models to get the best result and presentation of the creature we want. This not only speeds up the creation of the 3D model process, but also prevents from spending too much time fixing silly mistakes or sculpting errors. Huh. 
Wow, that is Deathclaw vibes right there. I'm a big fan of that. I'm a big fan of that. I will mark that as red. Enter Seventh Dragon Valad. It has come time to begin the 3D process of oh, progress of our Seventh Dragon Valad. This marks the point of us having seven out of 18 base game dragons soon to be modeled. Can you believe it? How the time has flown in two years. Our utmost beloved Sad Ek. Shout out to Sad Ek, by the way. They also work on the Walking the Dinosaurs um, Hell Creek mod for Path of Titans. And I love that uh, Leptoceratops and the Taurosaurus. Those are my two favorite um, models. They're not even done yet, but they're, they're beautiful looking. Ek, you do a wonderful job. This probably sounds like me <laughs> being paid by them, but I'm not genuinely. I love these guys' work and everything like that. I just can't state it enough. Our utmost beloved Sad Ek, mother of Williams, began the process of bringing Valad to life yesterday during our developer live stream over at our YouTube channel. You can find the link from the social media links channel. Look, a guy's head right there. I'm a big fan of the horns. I love the horns and the face. Big fan of those both. I do wonder how these wings fold in. They look a little bulky. Almost chicken-like tail. I'm a big fan of that. It reminds me of a basilisk. You know, like half chicken, half snake dragons. I love those things. They're creepy, but I love them. Don't know what's with the horse, but that's you get a front view of it. It reminds me of um did you guys ever see that movie? It has Tom Cruise in it, and he's it's like in the future where aliens have won a war against humanity, and Tom Cruise is like this cloned astronaut guy. It reminds me of the helicopter he drives in that. Pilots, technically, but you can You get a side profile of you. Very wonderful looking. Very cool. Do you think um, the tail? I think there's going to be something attached to the tail. So I won't talk about the tail. That's okay. You get an upward view of it. You can tell they really studied bats for these wings. I do hope we get a pterosaur like dragon. So you'd get the hand right here and then just one finger would be really long and then the rest would just be skin but with bats the the wing bones are also the fingers so you'd have the arm and then the finger here finger here like this model right here but with pterosaurs you'd have the fingers over here and then just one really long finger right here and then you get to see the downward version of the model very chicken like on the legs i'm digging that but, but I also get a bit of parrot, so hopefully it'll be able to hang on to, like, trees and stuff. Developer applications are open, and the Patreon supporter. Bit of a short video for you guys today, but that's totally fine, you know? Um, I will probably start recording Space Marine. Either I'll do a stream of it, or I'll record it. I'll do both. I'll just... Maybe I'll do both. I'll see which one's more popular. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this Wings Dawn video. I'm, I'm a really big fan of what's uh, coming up recently. I will check that in a second. Really big fan of what's uh, coming up recently. Um, there are a few games I'm keeping an eye on, such as Primal Earth. And, um, and there's this Untamed, obviously, which I do play on my downtime. Um... I'm also planning on some Team Fortress 2 streams with the Jadester, wonderful streamer. Go check her out. Um, but uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Even if you didn't, that's perfectly fine. Uh, but uh, you'll probably see some more Star Wars stuff coming out, such as the Galactic Contention. I have a lot of great videos of that uh, mod for Squad, so you're definitely going to see more of that. And... There's also some dragon mods coming out in Path of Titans I'm going to be covering. Maybe I'll just do a velocity thing where I just cover the entire animal and not just do a trail cam. 
Or maybe I'll just stick to trail cams. I haven't decided yet. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Really great looking stuff so far. I do think they should probably spoiler the insects just in case people have a fear of them. I completely forgot to mention that in the beginning of the video. But uh, I do think they should spoiler them and just give an arachnophobia or 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 that kind of phobia out uh, beforehand. But that's really the only issue I have with this update. Um, I think next week is going to be map stuff or programming. I don't remember, but uh, very good, very good, um, very good uh, week for the for the dragons and the AI critters. Looks great. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Even if you didn't, that's perfectly fine. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one and uh, peace.